Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is stage 5A of Race McCurry. This is the Twilight Harbor route. I'm going to be completely honest. The last video I uploaded was actually on Thanksgiving Day. It was stage 4. The uh, I forget which one it was called. Mech Isle or something. And it I liked it, actually. That was the one I liked. And I thought for sure that was the last and final stage of the series. Lo and behold, we now are blessed so so blessed with a stage five not only that it's stage 5a and 5b it's split into two different ones they're both super tiny this one's not but four and a half ish miles and then stage 5b isn't but 20 minutes after the finish of of stage 5a and that's also sub five miles so i knew these were going to be really quick i wasn't able to do it until a little later in the week and the good side about that is I watch everyone else's efforts. I see their videos of, of the same route. And that's my course recon. I see the gradient. I see the route. I see uh, how hard everyone is pushing for a short race. Um, and so with this race, I'm actually quite surprised that my heart rate is in the 150s right now. That is insane for me. I mean, it fluctuates a little bit, but uh, yeah, I mean, we're not moving terribly fast doing 180 watts for a for a sub five mile race. I was kind of disappointed, actually, that the effort was so, so light, but um, whatever. So anyways, I watched everyone else's videos. I see kind of where they're attacking, if they're going late, if they're going early, what the what the gradient is in the last um, mile or so. And uh, I just kind of learned from that. And actually, I saw Grant Young. He raced Cadman Cycling just the other night, a night or two before I did this race. And that same guy, Grant Young, he is in this race. Uh, he saw me signed up, and he wanted to take a swing at me. And he sure did, let me tell you. And so I'm thinking, okay, we're going really slow. Why, why is that? You know, should I launch an attack? I, I don't know. I'm not I've always wanted to do a huge breakaway in a Zwift race, but um I don't I don't think I can, to be honest. Or when I when I have done it, it definitely doesn't stick. And I don't wanna gas myself on stage one and then have to do a stage two shortly after. So uh, I didn't think it was gonna be the wisest of ideas. So I just kinda stay in with everyone, conserve as best I can. This is actually Grant right in front of me. He's got the USA jersey on. And there was one point where he kind of went out in front of everybody. And I almost jumped on his wheel. It was as if he was on uh, here. Is this it? No, not quite. And it was as if I, I could hear him say, Eric, hop on. And I, I almost did. But then I kind of waited to see if someone else was going to give me a ride. See, look, here he goes. He's up front. I wanted to jump on so bad. And then I was like, oh, let's see if someone else does. And then, like, everybody kind of came up around me. I was like, okay, well, we'll probably bring him back. I'm not that worried about him. I mean, he does stay up front for, for a good few seconds, though. But anyways, we are at one mile left, and this is where a lot of my recon was done. I, I just watched several videos, see, see what it was like around here. I know coming up, there's going to be a hairpin turn, and it's at, like, a negative 2, negative 1%, and then that's, that's it as far as any slight downhill sections. Or in that it's it's a zero percent or maybe a slight uphill. So we'd make this left hand turn. This is where it hairpins. And so I I want to be in really good position right here. I have this drafting boost power up. Um and, and this is actually the first time like the power is up pretty high, other than right out of the gate. So look at this. Pushing a good 350. Oh, no, 650. Grant kind of goes for it. He's up out in front. I do a little effort, get the RPMs up, get the get the heart rate up, get the power up. It's all coming up right here. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Hit the drafting boost with about 700 feet left. Kick it into high gear. Dude, I cracked 10,000 or 1,000 watts. Pass about four guys right at the line. Um, dude, I'll take it. So Grant got third place. I got fourth. Not not as good as I wanted, but you know I'll I'll take it. You know for a short race like that, I thought it was gonna be a lot you know a lot more cutthroat. Actually, it really wasn't. All seven of us got a time of 10 minutes 41 seconds. So I mean it was it was splitting hairs some of those times. Um, whatever, man. I'll I'll take it. I liked it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was quick. It wasn't 
I wasn't, you know, blasting my eyeballs out. My all-time highest power I've hit in Zwift is 1,095 watts. In this race alone, I just hit 1,091 watts. Dude, if I knew it was gonna be that close, I would have pushed that much harder just to like match it or ideally break it. So uh, yeah, pretty good race. I'll, I'll take it. It's in the top 10. It's in the top 5, definitely. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this one, you're going to want to stick around for stage 5B. It was unreal. I'm getting in the warm-up pen for it right now. I'll see you in the next one.